Question number 11, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. Is she concerned that only 16% of teachers believe that national standards have had a positive impact on their students' achievement, according to a survey released today? If not, why not? The Honourable Hiki Parata. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I'm more concerned that the member doesn't understand uh, what national standards are for. National standards are not intended to have a positive impact on students. Teachers and teaching are expected to do that. National standards is a way of tracking progress and reporting it. My second concern is that 16 per cent of the survey size of 349 amounts to 22 teachers. And my third concern is that the member seems to do little work other than regurgitate NZDI press releases or New Zealand Herald reports. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. Did she discuss that answer with Bill English, who said in 2009, quote, or that the government is, quote, unashamed in its priorities to teach all children to read, write and do maths. That's why we're implementing a national standards policy, end quote. If so, why has the performance of New Zealand students in the international PISA studies declined in all of those areas since national standards were introduced? What are the Honourable Hickey Mr. Speaker, either of those two supplementary questions? Yeah, Mr Speaker, um, actually if the member just looked again at the on right Honourable Bill English's answer, it is completely, well, I'll put it the other way, my answer is completely aligned with what he has already oh, no, said. Not. It absolutely is. We want to raise literacy and numeracy amongst New Zealand students, national standards, much to the chagrin of the opposition, is a system of tracking and reporting. But the raising of literacy and numeracy is about the teaching. So we are in complete agreement. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. The minister doesn't understand. I do understand. Suppl supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. If it's about the quality of the teaching, why is she ignoring the feedback from teachers that national stand describing national standards as soul-destroying for students who make individual progress but remain below the so-called standard, and that one principal said had led to a deterioration in the educational deal our children are receiving? Mr. The Honourable Hickey Parata. Mr Speaker, it is absolutely about the quality of teaching and this government can stand on its record of putting practical effect to that quality of teaching. I can enumerate, just as my colleagues have previously in this question time, the number of investments this government has made in the quality of teaching, including the establishment of the Education Council, including the transformation of professional learning and development, including the extra funding to recruit more scholarships, including the investment in Teach fit. It's not words unlike that former hopeless member. It's actual. It is actual. Oh, shall we go? listen? Shall we listen? Um, and so I am very. Oh, look at the puppets. Look at the puppets. Uh, so I'm very happy to talk to our investment. But I want to come to the second part of the member's question, which is there is nothing in our policy that requires any teacher to tell any child that they are below. What is required is to report that to the Ministry of Education so that we can target resource to those kids who need it most. Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. Is she now claiming that teachers do not need to report to parents when their children are below the national standards, given that is the whole point of their introduction in the first place? Mr. The Honourable Hickey Parata. I'm not making any claims whatsoever. I'm stating an expectation. I am saying that for system purposes, we need to know the range of challenges amongst children so that we can target resources to them in the right amount at the right time. But I do not expect a teacher to take the position of telling a child that it is soul-destroying that they are well below. Quite the opposite. We have been encouraging teachers to tell them what their next step would you like order. to listen to my answer? Because you order. two can talk order. to each other. Order. Order. I've Thank heard enough. You. The answer and the member to my left wants a supplementary question. He knows how to ask and ask for them. Supplementary question, Mr Supplementary Speaker. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. So is she claiming 
that the compulsory school reports that every teacher in the country is now required by the government to send to their parents explaining whether their child is at, above or below standard isn't going to be seen by the child. The Honourable Hekia Parata. Uh, Mr Speaker, again, I'm not claiming. I'm telling the member and the House that as this policy has evolved, I have made it clear to schools that we require it at a system level, uh, we require it at a system level to report to the Ministry of Education. And we have evolved several forms of national standing reporting. It would be quite helpful if that member spoke to his colleague rather than to me if he needed clarification. We have what a sad way to end. What a sad way to end. Oh, pathetic. Look, we have asked four uh, schools and teachers to make sure that the reports they make to parents are helpful in understanding where their child is, what their next learning step is, and what the school is doing about that. That is very clear, I trust, to the member and all his colleagues.